Hi everybody, the shave of the day and the weekend is here. But I am happy about it. I guess you are too. The weekends usually uh, surprise everybody or get them in a surprising happy mood, I guess you'd say. Surprisingly happy, that should say. Uh, this is my Edwin Jagger brush. And uh, I like this brush. It is sweet. There it is. And it actually says synthetic silver tip fiber. I don't know. You know, I thought if it was synthetic, it didn't have anything to do with, uh, you know, a badger or a silver tip badger. But it says synthetic silver tip fiber. Explain that one to me, okay? This one is handmade in England, by the way. And I am heating up the bristles because uh, that's what it says to do. <laughs> I'm serious. They they even uh, furnish a a guide from Edwin Jagger Company that tells you about your shaving brush and the care of your shaving brush. The brush is sterilized and should not be boiled. You know what that means? Sometime in the past, some nut said. Honey, is that brush about boiled yet? I'm ready to shave. <laughs> oh, man. Edwin Jagger. And it says, lather lightly without pressure. Okay. After use, rinse thoroughly. Shake to remove all the excess moisture. Uh, hang in a stand dry to dry completely. Never enclose a damp brush. And also periodically, this is something new. I wanted to share this with you guys. Periodically, rinse out the brush with borax. Rinse out the brush in a mild borax substitute. This will help prevent mildew from growing and attacking the hairs and give your brush a, a long life, it says. So, uh, because of that right there, it's going to give my brush long life. I thought, what the heck? I've started bathing in a light borax substitute. <laughs> Maybe I'm going to live longer now, you think? No, oh, I'm just joking. Puts me in a good mood when the weekend is here. Hopefully it does the same for you guys. Today, the soap I'm using is Dr. John's Propaganda. And I do have this uh, blooming a bit with some hot water right there. Ah, ooh, I love the smell of this stuff. I'm going to put it on just to smell it. I like that. And by the way, I, I do have a pre-shave oil already on. You probably noticed my cheeks glowing and sort of glistening. The Razor brand pre-shave oil. Now this has a lot of ingredients. I named them the other day. I'm just going to briefly go over a few. Cardamom, black pepper, uh, patchouli, uh, raspberry, sandalwood, rosemary, some uh, various oils as well, such as um, vitamin E and wheat germ oil too, but it's a good product. It really is. My razor today is my straight razor from Dovo. This is a Prima Clang Dovo 106. This is a 5 8 inch razor. I, I like this razor a lot. It's a beautiful razor. It does great. It seemingly is a little small for my hands and I, I uh, continually lose gra my grip on this and I, I grasp it and try to hold on and I just constantly, it seems like it's just way too small. So um, we'll see if I can uh, fix that. I have uh, placed a, an order for one to be made it's going to be a, a little bigger. Make make that a lot bigger, okay? All right. I'm going to load up my brush now from Dr. John's. Dr. John's makes some good stuff. And I'm just going to load the, the tips of my brush. Just the tips. I, uh, I don't have to do anything else. Besides, this soap is a, it's a good quality cream and it will last a while. I'm going to dip my brush in some water, put it in my shave mix bowl, and here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, a lot of water in that brush. I didn't squeeze it out. I may have to add more soap. Yeah, it was just like 
It was full of water. I didn't know it. Oh well, we'll just put a little elbow grease in it and see what happens, right? I like to uh, have you guys show me when you're mixing. I'd like to watch, you know, just to learn from you guys. And wow, that's quickly turned into a beautiful, a beautiful texture. The sheen is just glistening and it's, it's got like a, uh, I guess you would say a marshmallowy type texture to it. It just sort of uh, glistens, like I said. All right, going to throw some on. Oh, wow. It just smells nice. It really does smell good. I will list the ingredients if I can find some from the website down below. I didn't have a chance uh, to look it up, so uh, I've used so many, uh, I forget the ingredients from uh, one shave to the next, you know? I noticed yesterday, man, oh man, I really did a lot of uh, working on my uh, lather, didn't I? If you had the chance to see that. Wow, this stuff is awesome. Dr. John's is some good stuff. I know I like it a lot. Sit down my bowl and wipe a little of my fingers off. It's just completely uh, coated my bottom half of my brush. So I'm just uh, rinsing my hands off. It's almost time for me to thin my beard out. Here's how you can tell. When you do that and it sticks up like that, I usually keep my beard thinned out pretty low. So it's about time. I'll tell you a story. This is sort of funny. The first straight razor shave I ever had, this was years and years ago. I had been uh, visiting my barber and he's about, I guess, 25 miles away from where I live right now. Anyway, I had been uh, seeing him for a long time. He's a good barber and uh, did a great job. I'm just no longer in that vicinity, so I go to a different guy. He's a good guy and a friend, so I'm, I'm doing good. Anyway, to make a long story short, I'm always going and getting my hair cut. My barber is, uh, you know, just talking like he normally does, just shooting the breeze and talking politics and uh, you name it, the weather, etc., <laughs> etc. Et I'm adding a little more of the Dr. John's propaganda to my bowl. I uh, hit a little extra water and I sort of took some of the lather off my cheeks. Anyway, so I went to um, my barber and we're sitting there chatting can't get over the smell of this stuff. <laughs> anyway, he says, uh, so what kind of shaving do you do? I told him about my mock four or five, six or seven or 10, whatever it was. <laughs> and he said, well, if you ever decide that you want a straight razor shave, just let me know. I said, okay, I'll do that. I said, uh, I'll let you know. He said, okay, just give me a little head start. I said, why? He said, well, I just need a little extra, you know, notice. I said, why is that? He said, well, because I don't uh, have my razor sharp at the moment, and um, I need to sharpen it. Now you have to, they use a, a different blade with each customer here in Kentucky. Anyway, he says, uh, all right, we're opening a shop here, boys and girls. So he says, uh, but uh, you give me notice and I will, uh, I will definitely hook you up with a straight razor shave. 
because I'd never had one. And he says, he's going to hook me up. Just let him know. That was the last I said about it. Never said anything else. One day I just sat down in the chair. Just out of the blue. I mean, I hadn't said anything about it. Nor had he. And... He says, nothing, doesn't say a word, starts rubbing the lather on my face. So I just sat there to see what he's doing, you know. And sure enough, he whips out his straight razor. Let me tell you, this was the first and last time that I ever had a straight razor shave. Man, this guy just about killed me pulling out whiskers with his dull razor. <laughs> Needless to say, I, I didn't ask for another one. <laughs> it's serious. I, I mean, I had I had blood coming out whiskers where he was pulling them out by the root, you know? And um, I never did go back after that. Needless to say, right? <laughs> he didn't even put a hot towel on my face or pre-shave oil or nothing. Just soap or lather, hot lather. Just hot lather. That's it. <laughs> and man, whoo, it hurt. But I sat there and toughed it out. You better believe I didn't say a word. Because I thought that's how it was supposed to be. I thought all these guys getting their straight razor shaves are some tough bastard. I'm serious. They're tough. Because if they can sit there and stand this, I know I can. And I sat there and I took it. I didn't say a word. I mean, it was killing me, too. <laughs> like a dumbass, I just sat there. <laughs> Because I didn't know, you know? I didn't know. I didn't know they were supposed to feel like this. Nice. Good shave, you know? I've got a good one going. Needless to say, uh, I was sort of leery about, uh, you know, about getting my straight razor shave on. Had a few friends talking to me about it. And I said, nah. I got that Mercur Futur from my uh, Geo Fat Boy, ShaveNation.com. I got that nice razor. It cost a good bit of money. It wasn't cheap, but it wasn't, you know, outrageously expensive. It was a good deal, I thought. So, why would I start using a straight razor? <laughs> well,. I finally I got weak and started looking for straight razors and couldn't find any to suit me. I found out quickly from the guys that shave that I could easily screw up by buying the wrong thing in a vintage razor. So I didn't want to do that. So I bought a 
little $30 leopard. I'm sending it off this weekend to a friend to to hook me up and get it going right because it doesn't close properly, never has since day one. But I got this nice little uh, fall leather, fake leather, pleather razor holder. I don't know if that was worth 30 bucks, but it's it's a good one. It does a great job. You know, we learn as we grow, don't we? Just doing a little trim up, a little shaving, shaping rather. Big ass hands. Little ass razors. It's not that little, but it's not that big. The razor. <laughs> oh, that was that was a corny joke there, boys and girls. <laughs> I love joking around, cutting up. I have uh, I have uh, gotten into so much trouble in the past by joking around. Looks like I would have learned a lesson, right? Nah, come on. Remember my famous quote I ripped off from Steve Martin, the stand-up comic? Comedy ain't pretty. That's what he said. The last shave I had with my straight, I got the smoothest razor shave I had had. It was awesome. I think it's all because I stropped ahead of time. These are tips that people have told me That uh, I didn't know. About there being a, uh, one guy called it a, a fin, a long top. I always called that a burr. Uh, maybe it's a different thing than a uh, than a burr. Anyway, he said you had to raise that fin, and uh, he was right. That feels nice, except for that right there, one little spot. That's the bulldog. <laughs> One of the guys in the, on YouTube, that's what he called it. I don't remember which guy it was.
so many different people on YouTube that are really helpful. They've helped me out in so many different ways. And I appreciate it too. It's been it's been fantastic to have good people to teach you and uh, volunteer to give you help and assistance in any way and every way possible. I think it's awesome. People will do that and go out of their way to help and take time to talk to you and uh, direct message you and just spend time Man, I'll have to say that Dr. John's propaganda smells nice. It really does smell good. Shaving soap for the revolution. I, I bought this from shaverevolution.com, actually. cheek going. Got a little fat cheek itis going. <laughs> I think I'm good to go with this neck part, but I'm going to just get this upper area where it grows sort of thick around there. That's nice. I'm serious. I got it. Really nice. Time to close shop. Whew, what a nice, nice smell. That stuff is really awesome. If I like the smell of a shave soap, then I'm going to use it quite regularly. I, uh, I don't have all that many different shave soaps, but uh, what I do have, I'm going to rotate equally, okay? Oh man, I've got something to share with you guys today. Whoa, Bay Rum, whoa. That is vintage, babies. From a real barbershop, I got this. And uh, look at that top. Wow. Corked. Yeah. Came from a real barber shop. This is 1950s vintage bay rum. I love it too. This is bringing back some vintage feelings from yesteryear. Whew, that stuff smells good. Got to be careful with this one. Mmm. I like that. Vintage. Nothing like it. I'm getting into some vintage bottles. I really am lately. Look at these little ridges. Can you see the ridges on the side there? All up and down. That is wicked. The mother load right there, boys and girls. Now I need to throw something on for my skin to help soothe some of this uh, irritation that comes from scraping your skin with a razor. This is Nivea Sensitive Cooling Post Shave Balm. And it's in a glass container as well, so you have to be a little careful I guess this is not the kind of shave I would want to uh, conduct with my grandson running around. He is uh, playing over with a playmate today. He has a play date. 
So I've got the bathroom free <laughs> for once. That is it. And I have reached whole status. Look at me, baby. Look at me. I'm not smelling under my arms either. I'm sniffing the tops of my arms where I rubbed it in and it smells awesome. Thank you guys for being here and for watching patiently. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed or had a little bit of fun and smiled at least once today. If not, watch it again and maybe you'll smile next time. Thank you very much. You have a great weekend. It's here, baby. Peace.